You collaborated with Prince. I remember I was in London and I got a call and they're like, um, the artist is on the phone. Which <laughs> like, is so bizarre. At that time, anyway. it was the artist, and he was did just Did you really... know who they were talking about? <laughs> I did, You thought they were talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> but I was in shock. And right. He says, I have a song that I want you to be on, and it, kind of, it was kind of like a deal, like in exchange, I'll help you with one of your songs. And now are you calling him the artist? At that point, um, I don't know what I did. I think I just didn't call him anything. Was it weird? Because Prince is such a genius in all of that. I mean, isn't it? it it's just kind of... Intimidating, It was right? super scary and intimidating. And how's the he, whole thing go down? I'm curious. Here you are, a songwriter. You're gonna you're gonna collect. You have a song, and I you're had gonna, the and song. Gonna... I sent it. I sent him the demo of what we had started called Waiting Room. And when I got off the plane in Minneapolis, we're going through the airport. His his bodyguard was there, and he had this phone. He's like, the artist wants to speak to you again. I was like, okay. <laughs> so he puts me on the cell phone, and he goes, I had to rewrite the song. And I was like, uh -huh. okay. He's like, but I think you're going to like it. And so we get to the studio, and, and standing it's there, Paisley right? Park, and right. he's there, and he's super sweet and, like, is there an showing instant, us around. Is there an instant sort of chemistry in the sense that you both speak the same language musically? No. He no. is on a whole other planet level. Like, and but he barely also, talks, right? I mean, that night before, it, I forgot that the night we came in, he did, like, a five-hour concert in his, like, home concert like, yeah, he was room. like a workaholic. Yeah. I mean, he, he really loved music. Yeah. And so, and then you stand there with him and he plays for you he the new version of the, your song. Yeah, and it was the one that you hear on the Rocksteady album, which almost sounds like the Batman soundtrack. It was that time yeah. period. And it's Don't you so, love the Batman soundtrack? Don't yeah, you think that's like one of his so best? Good. I mean, I love, I love Under the Cherry Moon. I love all of his stuff. How long was the session? I mean, how long did it you... It felt like we were there a couple days. Oh, really? Yeah. And it's like nonstop. I went in the booth, and I did not come out for like eight hours. I'd like, can I get a water? Like, it was like... And he Work. would be like sitting at the desk, and he just literally one, like, harmony after another, he would just feed it to me, and I would have to like spit it back out. And I was, it was were so... Were you scared? I was so scared, because I'm not even that good of a singer. Do you know what I'm saying? Like... I, I, I don't, I don't know agree with that. I think your songs are hard to sing. I, I don't think those are easy songs. But I'm songs. saying technically, yeah. as a singer, I'm like, I kind of have my style or whatever, but it's not like I have a big range or, you know what I mean? I right. I, I can sing in tune and I can hear notes, but but he's like a, I mean, he's just like a genius. Do you know what I'm saying? He's And he's he's like, oh, I haven't done these kind of, um, these kind of like, harmonies since like Wendy and Lisa. And I'm just sitting there going, is this happening to me right now? Like, <laughs> right, this is right. so incredible.